What's up, fellas? Today we're going to be looking at a classic Red Wing Heritage boot that has somehow eluded me, the Mokto 875s. Let's get into it. Okay, so as you guys know, I have like eight Red Wing Heritage boots already, um, and I have one pair of Mokto's in the Briar Oil slick leather, um, but this is really the iconic Mokto. It's this orange oro russet leather, beautiful leather, and to me, I kind of just like that briar leather a little bit more, but this is really the iconic boot. And I think the reason why is because this leather, which by the way is interesting, they don't really make this, this any other boot in this leather. I think they, they kind of like that this is um, the flagship. Kind of like the Iron Rangers, they don't really make the amber harness leather in any of their other boots. So this to me is like the second to the Iron Ranger, the two most iconic Red Wing boots. People think of Red Wing boots or go to the website. This is kind of the third, first boot that they're gonna see. Um, and so it's kind of interesting that I, I delayed getting them for so long, um, but I did pick these up at Nordstrom Rack. I love going to Nordstrom Rack for, for factory seconds. You can see the punch hole right there on the tongue it shows that there's some sort of co cosmetic defect with these, which I really can't see, uh, to be honest with you. There's no loose grain or anything, uh, loose stitching that I, I really notice. So I was in Nordstrom Rack right after quarantine, and it was 40% off everything in the store. Sale, not sales, 40% off everything. So as you can see, the price was 160, and then it came to like around 90 bucks after 40% off. So I was like, let me just get them. And I think one of the reasons, I wanna start with this, one of the reasons why I haven't really gotten into Mato so much is because really it's a fit issue. And for me, if you could see the profile, they're not slim at all. That's not a slim profile. It's very tall in the middle of the foot, especially in the toe, that toe box is very tall. So to me, it doesn't really fit like anything from the eight last that the Iron Rangers, the Blacksmiths, it doesn't really fit like those at all. And it's not like, it doesn't hug your foot in the same way. And for, for me, even when I try on boots, it, they don't fit exactly how I want them to, but still I think that there's definitely room for them in the collection. And I guess that's why I've waited so long to get them. So let's just get into the specs a little bit. You guys probably, probably know a lot about uh, Red Wing boots by now, but it's a, this one actually has a 360 Goodyear belt stitch all the way around, unlike the Iron Rangers, which only have a 280 wealth. So, Totally recraftable, of course, and you know, for me, I've worn my Iron Rangers for three years now and beaten the heck out of them, and they still don't need to resole. So I don't know, I don't even know if I'm gonna ever resole these, um, considering I'm not gonna be wearing these every single day and I don't do any heavy labor, um, especially because it's got this super thick, dense foam sole that Red Wing makes. I believe they used to use uh, Vibram, like a lot of brands do, but they actually make this, this is their own proprietary sole. So it's got a nice sole. This should be very durable. You can see guys uh, all over Instagram who have really, really worn the heck out of these and have not gotten resold because they're just really, really durable. So something else to keep in mind about the sole is that as a shorter guy, I'm 5'9", these are gonna add a lot of height. So I think that's something to keep in mind. If you're, if you're a shorter guy especially, it's, a, it's like a pro and a con because you get a little extra height but at the same time, they're gonna look a little bit disproportionate and you might look like you're like wearing elevator shoes to some people. So I, I think that's something to keep in mind. Another thing is that they're kind of hard to dress up. Um, it's just such a casual looking boot and it really looks like a work boot. Unlike the Iron Rangers, the Iron Rangers kind of have a slimmer profile, easier to dress up and wear business casual settings. And these just look like something you might see um, on a construction site or just for someone who's really doing blue collar work. And so I don't think they're as versatile. But the leather, that all rust leather is just a really beautiful orange. It's like a true orange color, hopefully you guys can see it. Um, and to me, it's gonna be, it's gonna patina really well over time. And hopefully we'll include, Davey maybe can include some pictures um, on Instagram of someone who's worn these like crazy and condition them. They're gonna darken a lot and become much more of a brown. So I think that's something that, again, overall with Red Wing boots, and, and part of the reason I, I love wearing Red Wing boots is that they just get better over, over time. And you want, you really wanna see the age. You wanna see them develop that patina and darken and kind of become a part of you and part of your, your experiences. So uh, that's why I really do love these a lot. So let's just go into the, the fit. And, and I've talked about the fit issues for me. It's not such a snug fit, um, like I said, because it's a very tall profile, um, which made sizing very difficult. So I'm a nine in the Iron Rangers and the eight last pretty much. And these, I've tried these in a nine. I actually have that, the, the Briar Oil Mactos in a nine, and they kind of loosened up and became a little bit loose on me, so I, I really don't find myself wearing this so much. So I was, a little, I was a little nervous to buy a nine in these. Now, when I didn't have the choice, because I was in North Shore Rack, when I found them, these are interestingly an 8E, which is wide. And if you look at them, they, they don't really look so wide, and so when I put them on, they fit perfectly. 
So really a better fit than the nine for me. And I think that's valuable information to a lot of you guys. I don't have a wide foot, but at the same time, um, it's just interesting that I, when you size down, I guess when you size down from a nine to an eight, but you go for wide, it, the whole proportion of the boot is different. And I think that's really worth noting, especially I get a lot of comments from guys who go to the Red Wing store and get fitted and are a little bit nervous about the fit. Maybe ask to try on a wide because if you size down but then go for wide, I think a lot of times you're gonna get a, a snugger fit because it's just a slightly bit wider, I think around the, the toes here. Um, but at the same time, the length might be better for you. So, or might not be an issue compared to um, your normal Red Wing size. So I think that's definitely worth noting with the mock toes. Like I said, a huge um, problem for me was fit, and maybe if and you guys are experiencing the same thing, if you have a, a, a low instep like I do, or you have a thinner foot, maybe try sizing down uh, and going for the wide. It might fit a little bit better. Now the insole is classic Red Wing. It's got that hard leather insole with cork underneath. I don't know if these have a shank. I, I, I think they don't have a shank, actually. Um, maybe you guys can chime in. I don't think they have a shank. So it does make these, they're heavy, but they're not crazy heavy. And I think a lot of the weight comes from that sole. So it's kind of the thing that if you're looking for um, a really heavier, but sturdy boot, I don't think these are crazy sturdy. I think they give you a lot of bounce as you walk in them. So I haven't really broken them in, but I do have, like I said, the ones in the Briar Oil Slick Leather. And again, it's, it, they do have a little bit of bounce in them. It's not like a super hard feel. They don't walk as hard, if you know what I mean? For, like as the Iron Rangers do for me, that, that cork sole, that cork nitrile sole, that you can hear me stomping around, whereas these you don't really hear that as much. A couple other things worth noting, they don't have speed hooks on these. I think some of the limited editions did have speed hooks. You could replace them. I personally love speed hooks. I think it makes it a hell of a lot easier to, to lace these on and off. So I'm a little bit annoyed about these. It takes me a while actually to, to put these on because I have to actually take out the laces from the top two eyelets and then relace them. And that's something that when I'm rushing, it's just not something I have the time to do. And aside from that, it's just a little bit inconvenient that you have to do that. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. They have those nickel eyelets, and you got these classic nylon laces. Um, and you know, just have a, a classic look about them. You got the triple stitches, a beautiful mock toe, real mock toe here. On the top, I always look, think it looks like an alligator, kind of. So someone actually left uh, a comment on one of my previous videos saying that they went to a Red Wing Heritage store, and the sales associate said that the boot should fit like a firm handshake, which I think is just a perfect analogy. It should fit firmly. And to me, these don't have that same snug feel. If you have a, a high instep, I have a low instep, I think you may find uh, the fit to be a little bit better. But overall, it's still an iconic boot, great leather, great design, classic silhouette's been around forever. And I'd love to hear from you guys, what do you think about the 875s? Do you have a pair? How have they aged? Um, are you itching to get them? I'd love to hear from, the, from you in the comments below. As always guys, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.